Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona's Plays Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Today, uh, I was told that if I showed him the painting, there would be something new. Get that piece of filth out of my face! You're still mad, huh? <laughs> sure. Thoughts? I know a thing or two about Larry Butts, just like you. We both know he likes to act up, but this? Even he couldn't make something like this up. If this is what he drew, then this is what he saw. As unbelievable as it may seem. I know. That's what I'm thinking, too. And I think we should probably get a drug test for him, because he might have actually just taken some mushrooms or something. Every time, every single time I see that guy, he's up to... He's in up to it. He's in, he's in it up to his neck. I knew it. Edward's still mad at there's a horn in it, Larry. I mean, fair enough. I probably would be, too. Um... Okay, I guess we're going... Back to, uh, yeah, back to the main temple, February 9th. It's weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. It sure gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check out the shack just down this path. Maybe I'll find Larry there, sulking again. I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm assuming there's really nothing new here, because... We already checked this out. Let's go to the strip club. Every ninth, Heavenly Hall. Oh, miss the Nick. Pearls, what are you doing here? N nothing. What about Miss Nickbaya? Is she all right? Uh, well, we don't know yet. Oh, I see. Hey, what do you think you're doing here, Nick? Larry. This is the loser shack where losers get together to lose themselves. This is the what? Hey, we find comfort we find comfort in each other's failures, okay? That's not exactly healthy, but you know, as long as you're not going too hard on like the pity party with other people, you, you do what you need to do to recover a little bit. But if you're just getting together to go over everything negative in your life, maybe cut that back a little bit, because that stuff can snowball mentally. Uh, you got a problem with that? Look, Mr. Nick, Mr. Larice did a picture for me. I oh, love me. Uh, that's uh, that's great, Earl. We're going to get a firewood now. We'll be cooking some half rotten potatoes over a miserable little campfire. So stay out of our way. I don't believe this. Why can't he try getting fired up over becoming a better man? I mean, I feel you, dog. I've 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 been in this position. You are right now, looking at someone else, going, "Why are you like this?" No one believes a word I say anymore. Listen to me, Pearl. You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He'll only let you down. Dots. Oh, Mystic Maya. Alright, so let's look around. That stuff is really ruining the beautiful atmosphere. So inappropriate. Like, Sister Bikini and a Pete. Okay, so we already saw that. I'm assuming because Pearl and Larry are here, we might have other comments? I mean, this doesn't look like graffiti. This is actually legitimately good art. That's subjective, Kronos. I know, but it's not. <laughs> That's legitimately good art. Um, all right, Pearl. Uh, Larissa's sketch. Larry, right, is there something you want to tell me about this picture? <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you, Nick. My life's here now. With Pearl, two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. Pearl is nine. What am I going to do with him? Probably lock him up if he ever says anything like that again. All right then. What do you think about this picture's pearls? I, I think it's really well drawn. I can't draw at all, so I, uh, I think it's really amazing. See, someone appreciates it. It's tough getting the flames to look like that, you know. It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? I love it. It's like a dream, a wonderful fantasy. No, 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 it wasn't a dream. She really flew. I'm telling you, Iris flew that night. I miss the Larisse. Ugh. Not you too. Please don't look at me like that, Pearl. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase. I beg of you. I guess this picture really does, uh, really is a representative of what Larry thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I was there that night. I mean, half asleep can... Definitely fuck with you. I've, ever, I, I've definitely have told that before. There's been a few occasions where 
I, it's not it's not exactly sleep paralysis because I could barely move, but you know I could still move. Uh, the first time, like I woke up to this horrifying experience, is I was in bed, and uh, for some reason my computer monitor was on, so it was illuminating like the window where my AC is, and. You know, I kind of just get looked up, and all of a sudden, I just saw a hand coming through, like, the the little blinds. And, obviously, I panicked, right? Kind of thought maybe someone was trying to break in the house. So, I tried to get up, but, like, I could like I could barely move, but I stumbled over to where the, the, the wall was, and I just kind of, you know, kind of grabbed one of my knives, and I was like, I'm armed, don't come in here. And then I kind of woke up because I was like, wait a minute, how did his hand come through the AC blinds? Because the, the the side of the AC is still connected to the AC, but its hand came through there. And I was like, okay, that's really weird. And then finally I woke up and I was like, what the fuck was that? It wasn't like a dream. I was awake, kind of. And obviously I was now leaning against my wall because I couldn't fully stand at the time I got there. Uh... So yeah, that's fucking weird. Uh, the second time is I uh, I left my coat on my jacket and not my I coat coat on my uh, my seat, and in a haze I woke up and it kind of looked like some dude was standing over me with a coat, and you know in instinctively I kicked, and I kicked the shit out of my chair, but I couldn't really get up like I couldn't sit up but I was able to kick, so yeah it was weird. Oh, yeah, I did kick the shit out of this chair, though. I need to take better care of my stuff, you're right. Anyways, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're playing Phoenix Wright. And I saw what I saw. I was exact it was exactly like I drew in the picture. And it looks like I don't have any choice but to take the sketch at face value. Hey, what's with the look of doubt on your face? Uh, the night of the crime. Um, pearls. Did you channel a dead lady, potentially dead lady, and kill... Your, I guess she would be your aunt? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Nick. Oh, so you did. I've been meaning to ask you about the night of the murder. Gasp! Where were you and what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um, I... I was just, well, I'm just the kid, you know. You can't pin murder on me. They never could. They'll never find the evidence, Mr. Nick. I'm sure it doesn't really matter what I was doing, does it, Mr. Nick? Sorry, Pearls, but yes, it does. On the night of the murder, you were supposed to be with Donum's in Miss Donum's room, reading a book together, but Miss Donum was murdered, and you, Pearls, were at the inner temple. Because <laughs> what exactly happened that night, Earls? I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. I, I've, I've been a bad girl. That's why I'm being punished. What are you talking about, Pearls? My spiritual, spiritual power, it has disappeared. What? Her powers have disappeared? Hmm. So you didn't channel a dead woman? So what do you mean your powers disappeared, Pearls? Dots? It's, it's all over for me. A spirit medium who can't channel spirits is like a panther, panther who can't paint. Hey, what are you looking at me for? Larry can actually paint. If those portraits behind him are any indication. Pearls, did you try to channel someone's spirit right here at Hazakura Temple? Tried and failed, perhaps. Ugh. Let it go, Nick. You made her cry. That's... That was really cruel of you! Ah! As I thought, I'm gonna have to break the psyche locks to get her to get the truth out of her. I I don't know. Hmm. Unless it was after the murder and maybe she tried to summon a lease? Slash Misty? Maybe she doesn't know? 
It's Misty and couldn't channel her because she doesn't know her real name. Okay, we'll try it. See what it wants, kind of. Like, we'll see if we get a hint. And then we'll back up. We still have Bikini Bottom upstairs that we need to break as well. Oh, wait, no. We already did that, didn't we? Yeah, we showed her one thing and she, like, she started squealing like a pig. Not the crime. I don't know if that's the right expression for, for that. <laughs> now that I think about it for a hot second. At the dinner of the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Elise Donum's room. Reading a book together, correct? Yeah, I was so happy when she invited me. But... I didn't go in the end. He didn't go. No, there was somewhere else I had to go instead. I was so worried I... I had to go. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was so nervous. So Pearls never went to Miss Donum's room. Because she was too worried about something or someone else. Pearls. On the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? I'm assuming Inner Temple. You went here, didn't you, Pearls? Like, Phoenix, stop yelling at her. Dots. Looks like she's still not going to open up to me. This is where you went because you were so worried, right? Then the next question is, who or what were you so worried about? Now, I'm going to take a guess and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? <laughs> you mean you know? If I'm right, you'll tell me the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you, Satan. Okay. You went to this place for one very simple reason, and that is... Maya? It's obvious what you were so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? Ugh. You knew the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was the spe special course. I signed up for, our, for your special course. Well, 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 my, my, my. Quite bravery to consider how cold it is. You other people are so reckless with their health. Don't let me become one of those you channel. Whoa! Sister so Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? Because it was you who introduced Hazakura Temple to Maya in the first place, you felt responsible, didn't you? That's some character development, Pearl. Failing responsibility for someone else's life after all these years of murder. Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya made me more and more worried. I couldn't sit still at all. That's why I decided to go and find out how she was doing at the temple. Hey, Pearls, can you try... Can you try channeling Maya real fast? Just to... I know you think you lost your powers, but I don't know if that's actually the case. But... Just to see. Okay, what's well, one lockdown. Then... We're clear now that you went to the end temple that night, Pearls. What's clear is what happened... What's not clear is what happened after that. Ugh! But what time was it you headed over to the inner temple? Um, it was probably around 9.30 when I left the main hall. I heard the real training was supposed to start at 10. I wanted to get there before it started. But there was so much snow, and I'm only like 3 feet tall. So I didn't get there until like after 10, 10 o'clock. Till after 10? How do you know what time it was? Because I heard the bells ringing for lights out. You stayed up after curfew, Pearl? She heard the bell lights out bell. How's a curl tell bell's pretty small though, isn't it? You must have really you must have really good hearing. I I was really trying to pick up the sound of that bell, that's all. I didn't want to miss it. That it would be terrible. She was trying to hear the bell. Tell me, Pearls. Why were you so worried about hearing that bell? Huh? Oh, I uh I think I know why. The reason you were so worried about the bell was because of this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, did you know the weather? Pearl, you want to see a bo dead body again? Um, the weather? Maybe the weather? Is there anything on profiles? No. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Uh... I'm 
I'm gonna say the weather. It's not the weather. Oh! Is it the weather? Dots! You know, Mr. Nick, I think you should take a break now. Huh? Even your hair's starting to look a bit tired. The spikes aren't looking so sharp! Looks like picking this this piece of evidence wasn't so sharp of me either. Alright. Get that goddamn adorable look off your face when you, when you criticize me, Pearl! Anyways! You said you couldn't afford the Miss Bell because of this. Why? Uh... I'll be back, Pearl. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should try investigating after some more. Yeah, I think. Well, like, seriously, you want to see a, see a dead body? Um, pearls? It's no good. She's no condition to look at anything from her right now. Really? You look at portrait? What about this talisman? How about... Gravy? Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go back to the main gate, I guess, and see if there's anything there. I wonder if Sister Bikini is back in the main hall yet. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. But Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. Maybe. I mean... Yeah, she never loved Kyrie's Kira Temple. Um... They're not that far apart in age, right? Gumshoe's like... Oh, no, yeah. Gumshoe's like 36. No, 32. Really? You're younger than me? <laughs> uh, I don't know how I feel about that one. So, yeah, that's a 16-year difference. Um, I thought they were... I thought he was, like, in his late 30s. Huh. Uh, main hall. Oh, hi. Just stand here shaking. Well, what's the damage? I was the sacred cavern. Oh, it is completely gone. It looks like it survived, says Phoenix and opposed to Kronos. But we have a bigger problem now. I told Sister Bikini all about it. About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. Dots. But who who could have done that? The only people who know how to set those locks are those of the Korean tradition. Pearl? We have Iris at the Sacred Cavern trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about, Sister Bikini. Oh, yeah. We were in the middle of the chat, weren't we? Yeah. Uh, you were telling me about how the Master of Korean disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Missy Faye suddenly uh, disappeared at, or appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystic uh, El Elise, no, I mean Mystic Misty, arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved that she was the master, she said, Someone is trying to destroy the Korean tradition main family line. I here to put a stop to them. Someone's trying to destroy the main family line. So they're trying to kill Maya? There's only one heir to the heir to the title of master at any time. It's usually the eldest. That child becomes the new master of Korean and her daughters, the main family. All mediums, uh, all other mediums become branch family members with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families always have uh, and always will plot to erase those of the main family. Ah, oh, fuck! Pearl, is your mother still alive? Can we correct that? Dots. Is this the power of the master worth this much bloodshed? No, probably not. Uh, talk? Crane channeling technique. You believe in the technique, don't you, Mr. Wright? You know the power is Yeah, no, I have. I've seen a nine-year-old turn into, like, a mid-late 20-year-old dead woman. I've seen an 18-slash-19-year-old turn into the same woman who's dead. Slightly more clothed than the Pearl version. We should really get baggier clothes for Pearl if she's gonna channel me again. Yeah, I do. It's been two years since I first met Maya. In that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of dead the dead plenty of times. Actually, just only one person plenty of times. They're in the mask to mask case. <laughs> and during Maggie Bird's trial as well. Thanks to Maya, Mia's always on hand to help me out when I need her the most. 
Terrain technique was, uh, has made a huge difference to the world, you know? I mean, the ability to commune with the dead. That's true psychic power, you know? The members of the tradition always have been there, behind every important leader. Who wouldn't suspect such a tremendous? Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but with all that power and influence, I kind of expect that you'd be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? Whoa! You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see. All because of one little mistake. A mistake? What mistake? It was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down and hurt inside. All because of that incident. That incident? Is she talking about what I think she's talking about? Uh, I'm sure the record still exists if you still, if you looked it up. Locked up, of course. Wait, what? I'm sure the record still exists if you're interested. Locked up, of course. Okay. It's called the DL6 incident. Yeah. That's the name of the file. DL6 incident. I knew it. DL6. DL6. Uh, hopefully I remember it's actually the DL6 this time and not keep saying DL9. Because my brain is dumb. I know it well. I handled a related case to just two years ago. Dots. Ha! Ah, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. Were you there? A murder that took place 17 years ago. Misty, it was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. And the last time. The idea was the channel victim spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. And the medium performed the channel was Misty Fay, Maya's mother. Though, though Mystic my, uh, Misty's channeling through Mystic Misty's channeling, the name of the certain man surfaced. Almost that, that uh, almost that is evidence. The investigators spurred into action. But that man, he was found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right, he was. But the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case in the world that had ever seen the Grain family tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media. The public, the judiciary, the people of the... Yeah, you know... I know it's a video game and this shit, I, this shit like is legitimately real, as we've seen it in the video game. But, no. There was this one, I forget her name. She's dead now, so that's good. Kronos, well, no, she a, was a fucking horrible person. They, they, uh... She, like, went on TV and claimed to be a psychic and, like, this family member of, like, this missing girl asked her where, like, if they could, she, she could tell where, like, her daughter was. And she was like, oh, she's dead, honey. And that's kind of like, she's on the other side, sweetie. I'm sorry, but she's, she's passed on. And fucking, like, five years later. This girl, it's like five or ten years later, she escaped from her kidnapper's fucking, you know, yeah, it's like, I don't know. Obviously, you know, the cops didn't stop looking for her because of a, a fraud psychic on TV, but to go and tell a family that their child is dead and you don't actually have a clue if they are, you are a scumbag on the highest degree. I don't know. I, even if I remember this fucking psychic's name, I wouldn't give her the time of day to mention it. But it was just a horrible, like, just scam people out of their money. Just, yeah. Ah. Taking advantage of people that are mourning the dead like that is completely fucking... What if they get comfort from it, though, Kronos? No. Still completely fucked up. Anyways, let's move on. It was all over the media, the public, the jur uh, judiciary, the people of Korean village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Missy Missy's powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared, vanished, while everyone still thought sure of her as a fraud. But I know the truth. Missy Faye's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. The Korean tradition is starting to recover at last. With a new master wielding the power, but the with a new master wielding the power of the clan. Does that mean Maya? Does it mean Maya? Yeah. Uh, family feud! The spiritual power of the Grain Channel chain technique is in the blood. Maya told me the exact same thing before. So let's have a flashback. We, the women of the Phage Clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because of the power of the communicating with the spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. 
the main family bloodline stems directly from Mr. Gamey. But with each new generation, only one daughter becomes a new master. And the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. And it's always the cause of a tragedy. You know, Maya had a sister too. An older sister named Mia. Oh yeah, I heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. And lost her life. As a result. Do you know what Mr. Mia is uh, do you know what Mr. Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Miss Ignisty, and as she grew up. Yes, Miss Mia, Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mother and her aunt. That's right, Miss, uh, Misty Faye had an elder sister, too. And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the master's seat from her. Mystic Mr. Sister is Mist Mystic Morgana. Man, this family really likes naming their women with M's, don't they? Except for Pearl. It's a good way to end that tradition. As you probably know. Morgan. There's a name I know well. It was a year ago now at Maya's home, Rain Village. This woman with gigantic hair. What she did was terrible. It was all because she could all so she could make her daughter own daughter the next master. I suppose if you know about Mr. Morning's daughter, then you must already realize that Iris... Wait, what? What's Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris is... Mystic Morgan's aunt. What? Iris is what? Is she kidding me? Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Pearl, you have a sister. So you have a sister. Not a twin sister, but a sister. Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Oops, I thought you already knew. It sounded like you met one of the Miss Morgan's daughters, all right? Yeah, Pearl, I have. I know her very well. Kind of almost like raising her. Oh? Yeah, Pearls. Pearl Faye. But I, I always thought she was an only child. You jest. That child? She's Miss Morgan's... Dots? I had no idea. Miss Morgan. But she's in prison now. Isn't she? Yeah! Yeah, ever since she was found to be a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. It's kinda hoping they execute her ass already. It was all done to set Pearls up to be the next master. I see. So I've been wrong all this time. Missing Morgan had three daughters. Not two! What do you- Oh my god. Dahlia? Is Dahlia actually a fae? Wait, what? The three? Yeah, Iris, her twin sister! You So you have a sister. Oh, uh, what? Twin sister? Okay. So I get that part right. Obviously, it's kind of hard not to get it right. Look at those eyes. There's no way. Oh, you didn't know? That all happened 20 years ago now. After the clan leadership was taken by her, from her by her sister, Morgan's life crumbled. It wasn't many years later that Corrine's reputation hit an all-time low. When Mr. Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master, he left her in the village, taking their twin daughters with him. Was he a Hawthorne? How awful. Well, yeah, no, that is kind of scummy of the dude. Like, if he if he was a gold digger, right? And then he just kind of left with his daughters? That's fucked up. Piece of shit. Morgan's still a piece of shit, though. He was a jeweler, you know. And in the end, he remarried. And that's when it happened. He decided to give one of his girls up to be looked after by us here at the temple. That's, that's rude. That was Iris, you see? Yeah, un it's unbelievable. If Iris had a twin, that's... Yeah, man, that's kind of messed up to separate twins like that. Yeah, I mean, it really depends on how old they were, but still. Why not send, like, her to an orphanage to be adopted by a family that, like, wants to have a child or something? Instead of putting her in seclusion at a temple! Could it be? Uh, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris' sister? Was it Dahlia? I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I can recall is her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. A jeweler. Thank you very much, Bikini Bottom. Uh, you've helped clear up a lot of details.
That's another fucking statement. <laughs> Pearls had two older sisters, huh? Yeah, that's right. Maybe we'll not want any more. No doubt about it, it was all because of Miss Morgan's anger towards the main family. Anger? What do you mean? Her twin daughter were taken in by her, from her by her jeweler husband. But even that couldn't destroy her dream that a child of hers would one day lead the clan. That's why she had pearls. It seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. I was able to break free of the bonds that confide her. So Iris has a twin sister. That would be Dahlia. The plot thickens. Oh, yeah. You think? This information will be useless unless I can flesh it out. Does Pearl know she had older sisters? Probably not, right? And he has more questions. Get more information. All right, so I need to present some stuff to her. We'll do that, like, next time. Like, holy shit. I gotta admit, I didn't see that shit coming. <laughs> uh, I, I, I've been kind of like, man, I'm, I'm, like, pretty pretty good at calling a lot of stuff that's happened in this game so far. I did not fucking see that coming. That Iris and Dahlia were sister the Pearl and daughters to Morgan. I didn't think Morgan, you know, I didn't even think Morgan was going to be in this game at all. Apparently she's in solitary confinement. <laughs> Jealous. All right, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a great day.